Hey, this is Mr. Nelson. I am just coming to you with a quick video of instruction on how to use your Chromebook to record audio and submit it to Google Classroom. Um, a lot of you have processes that you've already developed to record yourself and submit. You feel real comfortable using this or that. Maybe you use your smartphone. Uh, in which case the Google Classroom app can be helpful. You can just submit files from your phone directly as attachments to your assignments in Google Classroom via the app. But if you have a Chromebook, um, let me just give you a couple tips on how you might record audio and submit it so that we can do some recording and, and give some recorded assignments on your instrument uh, during distance learning. Okay, so get your Chromebook, right? The lizard guy on it. Are all of them lizard guys? I don't know. Or lizard backgrounds on, I don't know. Go ahead and open up a Chrome window in, on your Chromebook and uh, it'll look something like this. Uh, minus all the tabs, of course. Uh, what is today? To all grocery workers, thank you. Ah, oh, thanks grocery workers. We like eating. Um, okay, so you're gonna wanna search for simple audio recorder extension. Take a look at that, and it should be your um, first option in the search results. Uh, and you're gonna wanna click Add to Chrome. When you do that, go ahead and click the permission to add extension. You should be able to do this without admin rights on your Chromebook. A lot of times up here, a little, a little window might appear that says, uh, allow this app to use your microphone. Uh, you wanna allow it. Give it permission to use your microphone, okay? And then click Turn On. Once you turn that on, a little microphone icon right up here is going to appear. You see that? Um, and that, that microphone icon then allows you to record. So if I were to say, be anywhere in Google Chrome, you can then click to start recording. And you have to kind of look close. Maybe I can zoom in on this in my editing. You click it, and boom, I am now recording. And there's just a little timer up there. now. What I've noticed is it is slow to start recording even though the timer's going. So give yourself a couple seconds before you want any of the audio recorded. And then I've also noticed that when you click, it actually cuts off, the file actually ends up cutting off a few seconds early. So be done with what you're doing, wait a couple seconds, and then click to stop the recording. All right, so here we are. Here's the perspective from your Chromebook. I can't really capture the Chromebook screen. Sorry about that, so I'm just having to hold my phone up to the screen here. But I've already installed the, the audio recorder extension like I showed you earlier, and I'm gonna click it to start recording. Boom, and you can see that timer's going up there. So it's recording right now, and blah, blah, blah. I finished what I wanna say. I'm gonna wait a couple seconds. Okay, and then I'm gonna stop the recording. Pow, once you do that, ah, a little thing appears down here. It says the download's complete. If you want, you can click show in folder. This'll disappear pretty quick. Um, so if, if it does disappear, you can just go up here, click on and find it in your Google Drive. But if you show in folder, this'll pop up, okay? And I've recorded a few tests, but here's the file. You can rename it whatever you'd like. Um, and so that when you go to Google Classroom and you wanna submit it with your assignment, you can select that file and it will submit along with your assignment in Google Classroom. Um, I'll attach the link to a video about how to do that from a student perspective. I can't show you that. I'm not a student in Google Classroom, I'm a teacher, but there is a teacher who created a video that shows you how you can turn in an assignment on Google Classroom and add files to it and I'll attach a link to that. So that should take care of it. It should be pretty self-explanatory, but um, if you're feeling lost, those things should point you in the right direction. Let me know um, whether this process works for you. If you're using the Chromebook, let me know if you have any issues installing this extension and then recording. Uh, listen to the recordings. See where, if, if the Chromebook is better like right up close to you uh, or if it's further across the room and it, you know, do some tests to find out where you sound the best and then use that procedure. Don't just record it and then not listen to it because if it's, you know, if you're too close to it, you could be a lot of static or whatever. It could be um, bad quality. So, uh, you know, do some test, test it out a little bit. If there's a better procedure, let me know. But that's what I've got for you. Um, hope this helps. All right, bye.